Hello. Today we'll be talking about adding Uniswap V3 liquidity. When you first load the page, you will notice that ETH, or the native token, has already been chosen. After this, we will choose our second token. Today we will be using the USDC token, but you can choose from any other token available. Now we can choose our fee tier. Uniswap V3 protocol currently has four fee tiers. There is the 1%, the 0.3%, the 0.05%, and the 0.01%. Below this, you will also see the percentage of users that have selected these tiers. We will just be using the 0.05% fee tier. After this, scroll down to your price range. You will see a low price box and a high price box. This is your upper and lower range of your position. You can use the positive or the negative icons to increase or decrease your position's range. You can also manually type in the amount you would like for your low or your high price. When you select outside the box, you will notice the price may change. This is just the pool setting up for the nearest price that can be initialized. If you look below, you will also see a graph. You can use the zoom in and zoom out icons to control what you see of the graph and how narrow your position's view is. There are three lines within the graph. Two blue lines with the flags represent your upper and your lower price. The gray line represents the current price. You can use the blue lines to select your position. After you have chosen your price range, you can scroll down to the deposit amounts. Here you can choose to enter an amount or use the maximum amount available in your wallet. If this is the first time you have supplied liquidity, you will be asked to approve the tokens that you need to supply. This allows Uniswap protocol to transfer the tokens to the pool. Click the approve button and your wallet will open up. Review the information within your wallet. Make sure to set your custom spending cap or your max allowance to the amount you desire. I will be using max because I do trust the Uniswap contracts. After this, scroll down and select next. Here you will see the network fees and the chosen spending cap or approval limit. Here you can choose to set a different network fee. Below, as you scroll down, you can choose more details. Once you have reviewed this, select the approve. The transaction will be sent to the blockchain. While this is pending, you can review it within your activity of your portfolio. After the approval has gone through, you will see the preview icon. Select this and you will see a pop-up with the information for your chosen range. Review this information. You can choose different ways 
to view the minimum and maximum price. After this, select Add and your wallet will open. Review this information and review your network fee. After you have reviewed this, scroll down and confirm. The transaction will be submitted to the blockchain. After this is done, you will be able to see your position within the pool page. You can show or hide your closed positions from this page.